Recently, we've talked about our new future as we treat increasing numbers of COVID-19 patients in our hospitals and clinics, while also safely ramping up procedures, surgeries, and other essential services for the patients we serve. That is exactly where we find ourselves at this moment. With our extensive planning at the outset of the pandemic, the lessons we've learned about the virus over the last few months, and great PPE stewardship, I know that we are continuing to meet our mission of providing excellent care while keeping our patients and our coworkers safe. Despite the many stresses of the last few months for all of us, one thing that has brought me great comfort is the fact that we have some of the world's truly leading experts on our faculty working tirelessly to help us better understand this virus. Right now, our basic scientists and clinical researchers are studying all aspects of COVID-19, deepening our knowledge of how it is transmitted, how we can best care for our patients, and ultimately how we can create a vaccine to protect against it. Several projects that I want to highlight specifically are the launch of a phase three COVID-19 vaccine trial, next, a clinical trial studying the effectiveness of convalescent plasma to treat and possibly protect against the virus, and then several trials on monoclonal antibody treatments for COVID-19. Beginning in the next few weeks, UNC will launch as a site for the phase three clinical trial of a COVID-19 vaccine developed by the company Moderna. We've seen in the first two phases of the trial that the vaccine is safe and that it triggers the production of antibodies against SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Now, a large scale study of the vaccine is launching across the nation, including here at UNC. Our research team led by Dr. Cindy Gay, along with Drs. David Wall and Joe Eron are aiming to enroll up a thousand participants with an emphasis on those at highest risk for the virus. In addition to the vaccine trial, a group led by Drs. Luther Bartelt and David Margolis have launched a clinical trial to study the effectiveness of convalescent plasma treatment. Plasma donated from recovered COVID-19 patients can contain antibodies against the infection, and we are already using it to treat patients. Researchers hope this study can reveal important details about antibodies required to fight the infection, creating a more efficient treatment for the future. The last study to highlight, led by Dr. Billy Fisher, is seeking to use monoclonal antibodies, antibodies manufactured in the laboratory to help fight the COVID-19 infection in some patients. Monoclonal antibodies will also be used by Drs. Jessica Lynn, David Wall, and Michael Ayrthay to try to prevent COVID-19 infections in high-risk, vulnerable populations. As we all continue to work together to care for COVID-19 patients, I hope we can take pride in the fact that knowledge being created here at UNC is contributing to better treatments for the patients we serve in North Carolina and truly changing the course of this pandemic across the world. Thank you for what you're doing every day for our patients and each other.